frequency and impedance scaling um, what is frequency scaling and what is impedance scaling and why do we use these two um, these two things so um, when we are designing a filter uh, in general you start with a normalized design which already exists uh, normalized design means that that specific filter that you're using will have a normalized frequency uh, cut off frequency uh, of any value that is given to you uh, for that filter and it will have a specific values of the components uh, resistor capacitor and so on and so forth now for you of course for example if you're designing a low pass filter and if you're you need a cutoff frequency to be 10 kilohertz and if the normalized design based on which you're designing your filter has the cutoff frequency of 1 hertz you need to change that 1 hertz to 10 kilohertz or 1 kilohertz whatever is your required is and the only way you can change it is if you change the component values capacitor or resistor value right uh, so to do that to change the normalized frequency to the required frequency we used frequency scaling now after you do the frequency scaling your uh, you can get the required frequency from the circuit but your impedance values uh, that is your uh, capacitor values and resistor values they may not still be not the one that you need or that is available to you so for example it's possible the resistor is one ohm and generally we don't use one ohm resistor because of it's so small you have a lot of noise issues and stuff so a good value of resistor that we use is about you know about one kilo ohm to ten kilo ohm to you know something like that so what if you want to change those values but you you don't want to disrupt the uh, the cutoff frequency in that case we use impedance scaling so impedance scaling it does not change the frequencies however it changes only the values of the component and you can make them uh, more suitable or uh, the components that are more readily available so that's the concept of frequency scaling and impedance scaling so how do we first of all calculate the what we call frequency scaling factor so this is frequency scaling factor and how do we calculate this frequency scaling factor you take the you take the required frequency let's say you have the cutoff frequency of 10 kilohertz so you take that 10 kilohertz first you convert it into the radian per second because this this is omega right so this is omega r is 2 pi f r so let's say if I give you that you have to design the filter with the cutoff frequency, low pass filter with the cutoff frequency of 10 kilohertz. So you're going to take that 10 kilohertz times 2 pi and that's going to go here. That's a new frequency or the required frequency. And then omega r bar or omega r dash, whatever you want to call it, this is the frequency of the normalized filter or the given filter based on whatever the components value they're using. So let's say omega r in general many times as you will see here as well it is given as one radian per second so that's going to be one radian per second omega r bar that means your impedance uh, your frequency scaling factor is going to come out to be simply 2 pi fr if omega r bar is one if it is not one then whatever the value is there then you can calculate it so once you have the frequency scaling factor you're going to go ahead and you will have capacitors in your circuit you will have uh, resistors in your circuit or if you have uh, inductors in your circuit as well uh, but for us you will have capacitors and resistor so that is for the active filters so what you're going to do you're going to divide the capacitor that is in the circuit that is the old value or the existing value by the frequency scaling factor and that will give you the new value of capacitor and that new value of capacitor is going to give you the required cutoff frequency or you can also change the resistor value that is the new resistor value will be the old divided by kf but you can you should you must not change both of them at the same time so either choose capacitor or resistor but not both of them now 
um, I will highly, highly suggest to change the capacitor value because if you change the capacitor value, then you are not going to be disturbing the impedance of the circuit at the cutoff frequency. It will still be the same as the original circuit. But if you change the resistor value, you, your impedance at the cutoff frequency is going to be changed. So don't change the resistor value, don't divide the resistor value by KF to get the new value. However, if you do that, your circuit will still work, it will still have the required cutoff frequency, but at that required cutoff frequency, the impedance of the circuit is going to be changed, it will not be the same as the original circuit. So change the capacitor value, uh, that will be my advice, and in all of my examples, I am changing the capacitor value. So calculate the new capacitor value by uh, dividing the old capacitor value uh, by the uh, frequency scaling factor. So now your uh, new frequency has been calculated. Your circuit is now has now the new cutoff frequency, not the normalized cutoff frequency which it came with. So now you're going to look at the circuit and you're going to say, okay, well that's fine. I have the correct frequency, but I don't like this uh, the the new capacitor value and my resistor value is also not very good. So what should I do? And the answer is, go ahead and apply the impedance scaling now. So how do you apply the impedance scaling? Impedance scaling is simply old, the new impedance divided by the old impedance, whether it's resistor, whether it's capacitor or inductor. New impedance divided by the old impedance. And for the capacitor, the new impedance is what? 1 over j omega c nu, because capacitor reactance is 1 over j omega c and old is 1 over j omega c old so when you you know cancel out this stuff you're gonna get c old over c new so either you're gonna use this so now in this case this c old is the c new over here because you have already changed the capacitor value and you have the new value not the value that it came with right so this c old is this the the c new from the previous um, step and this is the final value the, that you want for the capacitor so let's say you know i ask you the final value of the capacitor should be 10 nanofarad so let's say you, when you when you apply the um, frequency scaling and you calculated the value of the capacitor it came out to be 1 nanofarad it's not 10 nanofarad right i asked for 10 nanofarad that means you're shooting for 10 nanofarad so now you're going to go ahead and calculate the impedance scaling factor with the x new over x old which will be c old over c new so in this case c old is going to be one nanofarad which will be the new value from from the last step and then the final value that i ask you is 10 nanofarad right so the value of kr is going to be simply 0 0.1 in that case or you can also target the resistor like the new value of resistor divided by the old value of resistor and through that you can also calculate the impedance scaling factor so whichever way you are calculating the impedance scaling factor sometimes you have you are forced to calculate via one of one or the other again as i give you an example if i ask you i need the final value of capacitor to be 10 nanofarad because that's what i have in my uh, component box so you are forced to use capacitor instead of resistor to calculate kr but if there is no restriction and you say okay instead of capacitor i want the resistor to be uh, to determine what is the kr yes you can do that as well and once you calculate the value of kr that is the impedance uh, impedance factor impedance uh, scaling factor then you're going to go ahead and calculate the new value of the capacitor and the resistor using the same formula so for example if your kr is 10 0 0.1 whatever right 10 then use the same formula the new value of capacitor is going to be old value that is the value from the last step not the one that it came with old value divided by kr that's going to be the new value which if you're targeting 10 nanofarad let's say then that's going to be the new value anyway so you don't have to calculate the new value of capacitor in that case because you are forcing that new value in that case you only have to calculate the new value of the resistor so but if you if 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 impedance uh, factor is given to you that use this impedance factor then for that impedance factor when you're calculating the new value of capacitor that's going to be old value divided by kr and the new value of resistor it is going to be kr times the old value so they are different the way you are calculating the new value of capacitor and new value of resistor it's different so make sure do not make mistake
about that. And once you do that, then you have your final values. Now again, if those final values you don't like, or they are very small or very large, you can still go back and you can change that over here. You can calculate a new value of impedance factor. For example, if for the target of 10 nanofarad, uh, you know, which gives you, let's say, 0 0.1, and if you multiply 0 0.1 by the old value of resistor, and if the old value was one ohm, that means your new value is going to be 0 0.1 ohm resistor. And that's not a practical value. So, you, you, you know, you cannot really use that value. So, that means now you have to go back to this step where you are, de where you are designing, uh, where you, you are uh, determining the uh, impedance scaling factor, you're going to go back and you're going to say, well, I, I really cannot use 10 nanofarad as my final value. So either I, I use a smaller value or larger value, whatever, uh, or you target resistor instead of capacitor. So uh, it is possible that it's going to take you a few trials, perhaps, to find the final good values in the circuit. Uh, that you can use and those values by the way will not change the frequency of the circuit which you set in the first step remember that okay so this is frequency and impedance scaling and if you look at this example one we have a low pass filter that we discussed in circuits as well and this is a normalized low pass filter with one farad capacitor and one ohm resistor and the cutoff frequency of this which is determined by 1 over RC is 1 radian per second. Now in this example I'm asking you to design a low pass filter with the cutoff frequency of 1 kilohertz and the final value of the capacitor to be 0 0.01 microfarad which will be 10 nanofarad, right? So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to determine the frequency scaling factor. So 2 pi times 10 to the power 3, that's a new frequency since 10 kilo, uh, 1 kilohertz is a new frequency uh, divided by the old frequency 1 radian per second. So this is my frequency scaling factor right here. And then we're going to go ahead and divide all the original values by the capacitor Kf to get the new values, the capacitor values or resistor. In this case, I, as I said, choose capacitor. So we go ahead and we divide the capacitor value by one uh, by Kf and we get the new value of capacitor or the intermediate value of capacitor to be 159.1 microfarad, right? This is to set the frequency of, cutoff frequency of one kilohertz. Now, I ask you that the final capacitor value to be 0 0.01 microfarad. So now we're gonna go ahead and we are going to apply the impedance scaling factor. So we're going to go ahead first. Now this is just a check to see that your value is 1 kilohertz for the cutoff frequency with the new values of R and C. So now we're going to go ahead and calculate what is the impedance scaling factor with the old capacitor value that is the one that we calculated here 159.1 microfarad. Since micro is both in the numerator and denominator that's why I dropped it. So 159.1 microfarad from the last step and the new value that we are targeting which is 0 0.01 microfarad. So that gives us a value of 15910 and then you're going to go ahead and multiply this by the old value of resistor which was 1 ohm. So your final value of resistor will be 15.91 kilo ohm. The final value of capacitor is 115, uh, uh, sorry, 0 0.01 microfarad and the circuit is gonna look like this. So 10 nanofarad or 0 0.01 microfarad is the capacitor value. 15.91 kilo ohm is the resistor value. Cutoff frequency of the circuit is one kilohertz. And your circuit is complete. So this is how you're gonna use a normalized design uh, to uh, get to the correct frequency and get to some suitable values of uh, components, uh, resistance and uh, capacitor. And in the next video, we're going to go to now active filters. This is what we discussed is a passive filter.